guys. Today we are going to add the Scringo SDK to our BuzzTouch iOS project. Now the cool thing is that your BuzzTouch project already comes with all the Scringo code installed. So we're going to bypass a lot of these get, getting started instructions and we just want to make sure that you have an app ID to use to activate Scringo in your code. So under my apps you can click on add new app and you'll just fill in a few credentials app name, choose, iOS and Android. Now you don't have to necessarily fill these App Store and Google Play Store links out right now. You just want to get this set up so you have an app ID. You can fill those things in later. But I've already created an app ID called New Zurich. So I'm going to select this, copy and paste it to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go to my New Zurich Buzz Touch project in Xcode and I'm going to look in my btconfig folder at the appdelegate.m file for my project. And we can see here that the Scringo agent was already imported. And let's scroll down here to line, I believe it's around line 530. And we want to place that Scringo app ID that we just created and grabbed. So right here Line 531, you can see Scringo Agent Start Session, your Scringo App ID. So all you're going to do is paste in that app ID that you got from Scringo.com. Paste it right in there. And now all we're going to do is hit Launch. So we've got our simulator launched, and our app is launching. And we see my little simple menu up here, my little home screen. Not much of an app yet. But I'm going to swipe to the right, and we can see Scringo here with all these cool new features here. So you can have a, your own social network inside of your app. Very, very cool. So now that we have Scringo integrated, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to activate Facebook to work inside of your app. So users can log in with Facebook and follow each other. So stay tuned.